Hey there guys, Erxo2000 here. We're going to be playing a very nostalgic game uh, called Feeding Frenzy 2 Shipwreck Showdown. And um, yeah, so I actually bought this game on Steam today. It was I got it for a pretty cheap price. It was $5.49 on Steam. Um, it's also on Origin Electronic Arts as well, I, probably for the same price. But um, this is a very nostalgic game to me. I played this game a lot when I was a kid, uh, so it's very nostalgic, and so I wanted to throw in some commentary. Um, for some reason, Steam, as well as Origin, they do not have the first Feeding Frenzy on on there for sale. I know on console, because I played uh, Feeding Frenzy as well as the second one on console at some point, which was crazy to me, because I obviously played both of these games on PC growing up, and a console version didn't exist back then, but... Yeah, um, for some reason, there's Feeding Frenzy 1 is not for PC. You cannot buy it on Steam or Origin, only the uh, the second one. But on console, you can buy the first Feeding Frenzy as well as the second one. And I bought the first Feeding Frenzy on console while I played Feeding Frenzy 2 through the Game Pass when I owned the Game Pass. I'm, I'm an Xbox player, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I I played it. I played the, the second game through the Game Pass and also... Um, I played Zuma, Zuma Deluxe, and Zuma's Revenge through the Game Pass as well. So it was uh, very interesting to play these uh, PC games from my childhood on the console. Very crazy to me. So, yeah, um, very happy to be playing this game on the PC. I have not played this game on PC in forever. You know, I was thinking that if I ever want to play it on PC again, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, get a hold of it through uh, sketchy websites or something. Because, uh,. I've had to do that with a couple games now, um, the, the, a certain Spongebob game being one of them called the uh, Atlanta Square Off that I had to, uh, you know, get, I had to uh, use a VM because it had malware tied to it, but I'd imagine if I ever played this game, uh, you know, and I got it through uh, some sketchy site, I'd have to play it on a VM as well, but luckily, no, I didn't have to do that. I just bought the game for cheap, and we have it by, you know, by safe means, and yeah, so, um, um, yeah, so, um, I don't know how long this game is exactly, I think it's like three or four hours, and I probably should explain how this game works exactly, so, um, basically, you're a fish, or, I think there's at some point you're, you're a whale, but, like, you, um, you play as a certain fish for a certain number of levels, and basically what your goal is, is to eat fish, basically what you're seeing on the screen right now, um, <laughs> Yeah, you want to eat fish, but basically you start off with, see those, like, blue-looking fish? First you start off eating the small fish, then you work your way up. You grow bigger, um, you eat, and you grow bigger. So you, you grow bigger as you eat, and then you'll be you'll eat the medium fish, and then you'll eat the large fish. Um, there are also sharks, but you can't eat the sharks. That's, like, the only thing that you can't eat. The sharks can eat you, no matter what size you are. Um, I think the only... Uh, creature that can eat the sharks is uh, when you play as a whale at some point, which I believe it is in this game specifically. Um, but I know you don't play as a... I think you might even play as a shark in this game. I could be wrong, but I think you play as a whale and a shark in this game. Unless the whale part is from the first game. I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, so like I said, very cool to be playing this game. And um, yeah. So like I said, all your goal is is to eat you know, eat and grow bigger and satisfy your hunger. That's basically what this game is. And uh, try not to get eaten. As you can see, the shark just ate that fish. So yeah, you you definitely don't want to get eaten. There's other um, there's other uh, catastrophes in this game too, such as bombs and jellyfish that can stun you. Um, you can get uh, you can get uh, crushed uh, on the clams. The clams will open up and they'll have pearls inside them. And if you uh, if you hover over the the clam too long and it shuts, it crushes you and you lose a life. So yeah, um, uh, I turn the music off so I can kind of ramble on a bit. But man, it is very awesome to be playing this game on the PC again after so long. Like I obviously I've said this already, but I wanted to throw in commentary because this game is just very nostalgic to me and you know definitely like I said very crazy. And so without further ado. We're going to turn it on, so, yeah, man, very crazy. So there's the music, and there's also Time Attack. Um, I kind of, like, I kind of remember what that is. You're, like, timed, you gotta, I can't remember exactly what that is. It's, like, 
We'll have to just, uh, we'll get to it. But, um, yeah. So you can see that you got a various fish on the screen that you eventually will play as. Um, so, we got Sandy Shoal, uh, time to get your fins wet. Uh, meet Boris the butterfly fish. Boris lives in the warm waters of the Sandy Shoal. A beautiful area off the Frenzy Coast. Enjoy the sights, but don't get too comfortable. A fish still needs his lunch, and it's a fish-eat-fish -fish world out there. How to play. So you basically use your mouse to move around. You can left-click to, uh, to dash. Eat fish that are smaller than you, and basically you grow in size as you eat. Avoid anything that's larger than you. Anything that's larger than you will eat you, and you lose a life. Uh, eat enough fish, and you'll grow bigger. Uh, warm up those chompers and have some fun. So here we go. So right now we can only eat these small fish, and so we left click to dash around. Um, there's also a suck ability that um, we cannot use right now, but uh, you can suck in multiple fish at once with the ability. I also love the uh, whole feeding frenzy, double frenzy thing when you uh, and when he bur when uh, the fish burps and you eat too many. There you go. So now we can eat these orange fish. Double frenzy. Double frenzy. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to have commentary for this because it's just a very nostalgic game. So we can't eat the lionfish, they will kill us. Wow, we grew really fast, didn't we? Chris is just level one, so it's really easy. I know the uh, the mermaid shows up at the end of the levels to like give you these uh, these like what are they, starfish and bubbles or whatever. And they all just go away. Here's the mermaid. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Yeah, perfect. Nice. We got five lives. All right, so we got a newbie nibbler. Fun fact: the the African papano is highly prized by the sports by the sport fishermen who consider it an excellent. Fighter. When hooked, the African uh, pompano engages in a distinctive corkscrew-like thrashing pattern. Hmm. Sorry about my phone going off, guys. I forgot to turn the ringer off on it. So we got level two, which is a succulent starfish, a tasty treat. Uh, watch for starfish. Tasty starfish have been seen floating around these parts. Grab a starfish bubble for some extra points. They, they won't help Boris get any bigger, but they're sure to grow your score. Yeah. And so now on the second level, it tells us that we can dash. Which, obviously, I already knew that, because, uh... <laughs> having played this game in the past, I would know that. Um, tap the left mouse button for a short burst of speed. It doesn't last long, but it might help you out of a tough spot. Uh, stay alert and watch out for sharks. So I know if it's when a shark actually shows up, there's like a... Oh, a caution sign that appears on the screen. We're gonna have to be careful when we dash around to get eaten. Here's a star. And uh, there are there are obviously uh, pearl uh, clams in this game that have pearls, but uh, we're not there yet, so it's gonna introduce that soon, I'm sure. Double frenzy. Oh god, oh, I almost got eaten. Yeah, I just really Super wanted frenzy. to play this because this is a very nostalgic game. Super frenzy. It's very, very nostalgic. Mega frenzy. Yeah. Mega frenzy indeed. Take three fish in one. Okay. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Oh, we got six lives. Look at that. I, re I still really love this game so much. Now we got Newbie Nibbler. Fun fact, the leopard shark is also known as the cat shark. So now we got frenzy time, now with even more frenzy. Now that, you've war now that you're warmed up, it's time to get your frenzy on. Eat fish quickly to fill up the frenzy meter. Each time you fill up the meter, your frenzy multiplier increases. And everything you eat is worth more points. Try to reach mega frenzy for a six time bonus. So, we've been getting some Mega Frenzies. Uh, frenzy Boost, look out for a special Frenzy Boost power-ups. Forgot about those. Eat a Frenzy Booster to fill up the Frenzy Meter in a single chunk. You have to keep eating to keep the Frenzy Meter full. 
So, you know, the game is pretty sim pretty straightforward right now. It's pretty simple, because uh, we're in the real early levels. But uh, it's going to get harder as we uh, get more catastrophes, such as the bombs and the jellyfish and the sharks that show up on the screen. So it does get more dangerous as you, as you progress, obviously. It gets harder. Really simple right now, because these are the early levels, but... I think what I love about these games too is that I've always loved the uh, I've always loved the uh, underwater like Super type of thing, you know. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Anyone who's never played this game, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's, it's a very good game. It still holds up very well today. For sure. I love it a lot. I haven't heard the burping yet. I think the burping is when you uh, when you uh, have the uh, the suck ability, and you, after you suck, you burp. I think that's what that is. I don't know when we're gonna get that ability because I know it is in this game, but probably uh, a little later in the game. Oh yeah. We got newbie nibbler, the largest bar barracuda. Ever caught weighed 85 pounds in the Republic of Carab Carabata in 1992. Sorry if I butcher some of these words. I'm trying my best to read it, but, uh, you know. Uh, Herring Herder. Uh, Herring Herder. Yep, we got a bonus stage. Uh, act fast. What's this? You seem to have stumbled on a whole school of her herrings with no predators in sight. Better act fast. Eat as many fish as you can in one minute. Eat all 100 fish. Before the timer runs out to rack up a time bonus at the end of the stage. So we got a minute to do it. Well, wait. Maybe. Don't worry if you don't finish. It's a bonus stage. It's always good, but never bad. Try to eat 100 fish before the timer runs out. Okay. So, well, we got a minute to do this. So where are the fish at? There we go. And also get extra time. Double frenzy. Double so frenzy. This game is, a, is smaller than I am used to because I have to play these games in windowed mode for the sake of being able to, you know, pause my recording if I have to. It's just easier for me overall. It looks like we're going to be able to do this. we got plenty of time. If I remember correctly, too, there is a, there's a set of levels that, uh, the whole, like, the, uh, because obviously the, the, the deeper you go in the ocean, it gets, uh, it's like almost pitch black to where you can't see, and you need light to see at the real depths of the ocean, so it is, it's like the real ocean, so like, the real deep depths of the ocean, uh, there's no light, and it's just completely pitch black, and so I, I know that you play as a certain, uh, fish that, you have you have a small amount of light like you can't really see that much but you have a small amount of light and i think i can't remember what the name of that type of fish is it's like a an angler fish or something like that i think they got a new rank the bottom feeder but yeah it's this it's that green fish with the antenna it's with those levels and it's a little unfortunate that the first feeding frenzy um is not on Steam or uh, Origin. I don't know why, but it's on console. So, what's going on? These humphead ra razzy uh, don't usually venture in the in this close to the coast. This friendly little shoal is getting a bit crowded. Um, extra lives. Be on the lookout for one h one up bubbles. Eat a one up bubble on. To earn an extra life, you might not need need them, but you never know what danger lurks around the corner. Watch for one-up bubbles. The more lives, the better. So, uninvited guests. All right. He plays this kind of fish later. I know that. So now we're eating a uh, different fish now. 
You know, uh, eventually you, eat, you have to eat, like, what is it, puffer fish as well as these, like, squids that uh, can ink you or something, I think. It's really nice to be playing this game. It's uh, very nostalgic, like I've said it many times already. But, yeah, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself so much. Super frenzy. Yeah. Oh god. Mega frenzy. I love the backgrounds on the, on the levels, too. They're just really nice. I don't know. This is a very common game for me, too. I know it can get intense later, but it's just a very type of common game for me. I, like, I enjoy it a lot. Alright, so where's the mermaid? There you are. This, this was one of the games that actually resided in the Wild Fantasy back in the day as well. That's how I ended up playing it, obviously, if anyone's curious. But, because this, uh, the first and second Feeding Frenzy used to reside on Wild Tangent, but they're not on Wild Tangent anymore. I'm pretty sure Big Fish Game had these games as well, but I don't know if Big Fish Game still has the Feeding Frenzies. Probably, probably not. But, yeah, I played um, the first and second Feeding Frenzy on Wild Tangent back in the day. It was one of those one of many PC games that I played on Wild Tangent. That's how I, uh, that's mainly at, uh, in terms of what game, what, you know, what I was playing back in the day. And so we got the same fun fact again about a leopard shark being known as a cat shark. Um, but yeah, I played, like I said, I played both of the games on Wild Tangent. I also um, played the first Feeding Frenzy, uh, Feeding Frenzy, I played like an online demo through Flashpoint recently. So that was kind of cool. So here's the pearls that I was talking about earlier. We got precarious pearls, hidden treasures in, of the ocean. With all these new guests on the sandy shoal, it's time to start heading towards some shallower waters. Maybe things will be a, a little more peaceful down in Paradise Reef. Uh, tricky treasures. Sometimes oysters open to reveal hidden treasures. Grab them quick before they close or you'll be caught in the act. So yeah, if you... Um, there's there's an indicator that they're about to close. I think it's like the sound of like a wind chime or something, but it's the indication they're about to close. And uh, if you don't move out of the way, they close on you, you, they crush you, and you lose a life. Easy as that. Um, oysters shake a little uh, just before they shut, and there's also a sound indication of like the wind chimes, like I said. So you'll know when they're about to shut. And here's one. I think there's, there's two of them, okay. Oh, got eaten. Oh, shit. Alright. Oh, I forgot it does that. It resets uh, your growth meter all the way if you die. It's a little unfortunate. So we got our first death. I'm gonna be really careful with dashing around at times because it's just gonna be very frenzy. Okay. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Missed that other one, but it's alright. Mega frenzy. So we might need two videos to beat this game, possibly even three. But it's all good. We'll we'll do the videos. Um but I don't I don't think this game is very long from what I remember. It's definitely like three, four hours, probably tops, if I'm honest. So, uh, butterfly fish usually travel alone or in pairs. They have a very limited range and do not stray far from their homes, okay? Oh yeah, the jumping in this game. You uh, eat the butterflies, I remember this. Jump for joy, you got a bonus stage. Uh, bugs for dinner. Look at all those tasty bugs. The pier is a great place to catch some snacks, but you're going to have to work for it. Try to catch all the bugs on the level before the time runs out. So, how to jump, swim towards the water surface. When you're at, right at the surface, click the left mouse button. Uh, faster you're moving, the higher you'll jump. Click the mouse button in the air to do a flip. 
Uh, flips earn you style points, but only if you finish the flip before you hit the water. Um, you can be eaten by seagulls. I know that. There's like seagulls that fly by, and, it, and if uh, you, you know they swoop down and they touch you, you get eaten. Try to eat all the bugs before the timer runs out. Here's the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> he gets stunned too when he, uh, from the. Right. Not what stuns you exactly. I guess like when you don't. I don't know. You belly flop. I guess it stuns you for a couple seconds. You're almost there already. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh. Right. Ah, come on. I can't it's too low on the surface. Alright. Making some good progress with the game, so we got showdown in the shallows. Why is everyone so grumpy? A leper shark has taken up residence under the pier. What's what's he doing here? Something strange must be going on to cause all this commotion. Keep your eyes peeled for anything out of the ordinary. Make sure to avoid that shark. And uh, by the way, you can never grow big enough to eat the shark, so you have to stay away from him at all costs. So, yeah. Like I said, um, I know you do play as a shark later in the game, and possibly a whale in this game, and th those are like the only ones that can actually eat the eat other sharks. But um, yeah, you. Uh, you can't eat sharks as a fish. If you ever forget which fish are small enough to eat, be sure to check the menu at the top of the screen. Any fish that, any fish that's lit up in the menu is safe to eat. If it's not up there, you better avoid it. Avoid that shark. So we got the intense music going on here. It's probably my favorite track from Feeding Frenzy too. To know that uh, things are getting real. Oh, there's the shark. Oh, God, I got eaten by fucking lionfish. Now, you can also eat the butterflies and the, the bugs as well. Eating frenzy. You really, really got to be careful. It's got that live back, so I like that one. Eating frenzy. It's better to eat the bugs than it is to uh, really, when you're like this small, than really wander around the waters. Triple frenzy. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. Yeah. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Just to nail that. I got a frenzy. Alright, now we can eat these guys too. Oh! Can't eat the shark. Alright, we done it. Surprisingly, uh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's one of the bosses in this game. You gotta, like, bite it. I think, what do you bite his tail or something? And eventually, like, uh, what do, you, what do you use, like, the mushrooms to shrink him down and then you just eat him or something, or, I think. We got a minnow muncher now. And, uh, le uh leopard sharks are timid, swim, swim slowly, and have very small teeth. Uh, divers can approach them easily when they rest on the ocean floor. Hmm. All right. So now we get, we're playing as a new fish, because the other one uh, is going after the boss that we're going to have to face later. Um, yeah, Queen Fish, Fish Upgrade. Congratulations, you've reached Paradise Reef. Uh, rumors have spread about the mysterious creature that Boris spotted on his way here. Uh, Leia, the resident queen, Tigerfish, has uh, decided to investigate. 
Maybe the appearance of this stranger has something to do with everyone's nasty mood. Oh, now we have that ability. Now we have the suck ability. Um, with the right mouse button to inhale fish in front of you, this can be very helpful for gobbling up groups of small prey. This ability takes a few seconds to recharge. So keep an eye on your ability meter. When it's full, you're ready to go. So yeah, we can use the uh, right uh, mouse button to inhale fish. And I talked about this earlier. So yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you also gotta be careful because you, you uh, can inhale other fish around you as well that are uh, bigger than you and can eat you. Oh, yep. I've already done it. Darn it. Eating frenzy. And you burp when you eat a school. Okay. Frenzy. Frenzy. It's a little weird. Triple Frenzy. Super Frenzy. Yeah, we have to be careful with the suck ability. Um, just, you know, so we don't want to inhale the other fish and accidentally make them. Frenzy. I forgot other things can appear in those oysters. I totally forgot about that. There we go. Super Frenzy. Ah, oh, an oyster got me. Almost got eaten literally just now. Yeah. Eating frenzy. Okay, we're starting to die more often now. Eating frenzy. Compared to like the first, first few levels frenzy. we were playing. Double frenzy. Oh man, you gotta be careful. Double frenzy. Game, like I said earlier, this game really still holds up today. It's a lot of fun, you know. Oh yeah, the black pearls are obviously hold more in value and that can increase your I think Double frenzy. the pearls do increase your growth, I'm pretty sure. I think the black pearl like makes your increases your growth quite a bit. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the pearls actually do do that. I think. I might have missed it where it said that uh, the pearls don't can't make you grow bigger or something, but they just kind of help with your score. I thought the black pearls do like make you grow bigger faster. Like they uh, enhance your, your growth meter quite uh, quite a bit. Um, the very strong teeth of the queen tigerfish often stick out of the fish's mouth. They're sometimes called fangs. Right. So yeah, you can see that uh, there's not too many levels in this game. Uh, uh, Barracuda alert, so we got the shark now, another new shark. A Barracuda has been spotted cruising the reef. Watch for, for warning signs and keep away from his uh, gaping maw. If you are feeling really lucky, try biting his tail. Bite it four times and you're in for a special surprise if you survive that long. I think if you bite his tail four times, he shrinks down and you can eat him, I think. Uh, schools out. Watch for schools of fish. If you eat every school fish in a school, then you get a big school bonus. Remember to use the right mouse button to inhale. It's very useful when you're trying to catch a school. Keep an eye out for that barracuda, okay? Get the intense music again. Eating frenzy. Almost a perfect. Double frenzy. Triple frenzy. Uh, super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Gotta be. Let's try to tip the ice. Oh, he's getting pissed. He's getting pissed. Ha. Huh? Alright, come on, come on, come on. I think we gotta buy it one more time. Oh. Oh, yep. There we go. I don't really understand that, why that happened. It's kinda funny, but. Alright. I was right. Ah, damn it. I really want to do that again, though. I don't know. Maybe. Eating frenzy. Ah! Damn it! He got me this time. No. 
well. Well, we did it once. Second time I got eaten. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Probably better to do it when you can eat everything on the screen. You don't accidentally run into a. Mega frenzy. Ah, damn it! I eat, eat me again. It's like. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. Yep. Triple frenzy. Wait, I think the mermaid only shows up when you uh when you don't get eaten on the level. A barracuda bonus. Hmm. I wonder what that's about. I also saw in some of the screenshots on Steam that there was like a two-player mode in this game. I was like, that'd be interesting to play Feeding Frenzy with like two player. I've never played with. I didn't know that was a thing in this game. I guess that's new or something, I don't know. Cause there was never multiplayer in Feeding Frenzy, I'm certain of that. Uh, so yeah, it's just the same one. Same fun fact. Uh, the mushrooms that shrink uh, stuff down. Magic mushrooms, the predator becomes prey. Uh, fight back. There are a lot of big fish around here, but you've got the power to fight back. The shrink shroom power-up gives you uh, gives you the chance to show those big bullies who's boss. Uh, shrinking goodness. Eat a shroom... Uh, shrink Shroom, power up to make a burst of magical energy, spiral forth, and shrink any fish that's bigger than you. Once you shrink a fish to mini size, the predator becomes the prey. Shrunken fish aren't very nutritious, but they sure are a lot less dangerous. Shrink down dangerous predators with the Shrink Shroom. Okay. You got more calm music this time. Eating frenzy. Different fish as well. Double frenzy. Triple frenzy. Triple frenzy. <laughs> Eat the shark. Super okay. frenzy. The, the leopard shark again. Mega frenzy. Oh, come on. That was so close, too. Almost got spawned right in the. right to where I was gonna get eaten again. Eating frenzy. Yeah, the black pearl definitely increases your growth meter. I've seen that now. I definitely played this game many times in the past, um, as well as now on the console, which is crazy to me. But yeah. I was very close to get ah. Oh. Was so close. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. You can see this game gets definitely gets more tricky. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. Oh my gosh, the shark almost ate me. There's two of them here. Please. Oh, this music, it's really calm. <laughs> I definitely like multiple tracks on Feeding Frenzy. frenzy. Feeding Frenzy. Double Frenzy. the prey. Double Frenzy. Come on, we'll get Double Frenzy. Now we can eat the orange fish. Super Frenzy. I've not been dashing. I totally kind of. Uh, I thought I could eat the. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought I could eat those fish. Double frenzy. Totally, I've like, not been utilizing the dash ability, but it's not Double safe frenzy. to use it anyway. For the map, we're getting to the point Double now where it's. A lot more risky to use it, as you can see. We've been eaten multiple times already on just one level. 
which not really safe to use. Super frenzy. I like the inhale ability a lot more. So I have not been seeing the mermaid because we've been getting eaten on the levels and you you can't get eaten if you want the mermaid to show up. So we got the Guppy Guzzler. Uh, Marlin whack their bills around to stun prey that's swimming that is swimming in a school. Okay. So now we got a uh, skittish school, so another bonus stage. What what's this? A sunken ship filled with herrings? No predators in sight? Sounds like a bonus stage. These herring have uh, banded together into fast, um, nimble schools to keep them safe. They're a slippery bunch. Can you catch them all before a minute is up? Uh, uh, good for a boost. Oh yeah, the uh, lightning bolts. Uh, keep an eye out for a speed boost bubbles. Um, they'll give you a burst of energy that might help you chase down those slippery schools. Try to eat 70 herrings in one minute. Okay. So now we got this... Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. This type of Double attack. frenzy. Map, uh. Triple frenzy. Sir, yeah, I guess you can call it map. <laughs> Triple frenzy. Yeah, we'll be able to do it. Try to go for those uh, speed power-ups when we can. Not been seeing that really any around. Double frenzy. Double frenzy. Double frenzy. There we go. Frenzy. Okay, we might not do this actually. Okay. Frenzy. We're close, we're really close. Come on, come on, come on. Where's the other fish? Aww. We were super, super close, but... Yeah, one more. Eat all the fish in the stage for the time around. Yep. Alright. You are my sunshine. Hearing for health. Oh, yeah, when you eat these guys, they give you an, inst an instant growth up. Um, it didn't take long for others to discover this Morris-filled wreck. Now that it's more crowded in here, the pickings are a little slim, and you'll need to find some here, uh, hardy prey to keep yourself alive. Keep your eyes peeled for the extremely rare golden herring. Golden herring, uh, golden herring are extremely difficult to catch, but if you get one, you instantly grow to the next size. Uh, when food is scarce, it may be the only way to grow. So these are very hard to catch. These golden herrings are very hard to catch, but um, like, like it says, and, um, like what I said, you instantly grow to the next uh, size if you eat it. So. <laughs> Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. <laughs> like the recolors on the fish they did. So, I don't know how far we're going to get in this video with this game tonight, we'll see, but, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Ah, darn it, alright, that sucks. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. Yep. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Gotta be careful of that fish there, that teal fish. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Yeah, I don't think speed. Oh, well, that was convenient. We ate one of the gold herrings right there. For some reason, it does not count on the lunch report. 
and a guppy guzzler. I think we've had that rank already. Humans don't know how to tell a mere barracuda from a female by appearance. Good to know. Marine mystery. More than just a shipwreck? That shipwreck hasn't been here too long. Come to think of it, there have been a lot of sunken ships showing up around Frenzy Coast lately. What could be causing them? The sightings of this strange sea creature have been reported from the undersea caves to the east of the Paradise Reef. Time to head towards deeper waters to see if we can learn anything. Alright. Definitely like a lot of the, uh, the maps backgrounds in this game. They look really nice. Double frenzy. Yeah, I'm very happy that this game is still around. I'm happy that it's made its way onto Steam and to console and all the, you know, and Origin as well. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. Actually, um, forgot this game is made by PopCap. That's actually surprising to me. I guess that's probably why it's still around, as well as the Zuma games, because they're PopCap games. And obviously, PopCap, you know, made uh, Plants vs. Zombies and as well as some other classic uh, games. Another one they made that I, uh, is from my childhood and that I really like is, is uh, Shuzzle Deluxe, and then there's another one. It's, uh, Insan uh, Insan Insani Aquarium or something. Uh, Double Frenzy. I never was able to, like, truly pronounce the title right for that game, but... Double frenzy. Yeah. But that one's very nostalgic to me as well. Um, three feed fish and you have an aquarium frenzy. and all that. And you gotta shoot the aliens, and I played it on my channel, uh, what was it? I can't remember, was it 2018, 19? I played, uh, that game on my channel. One of the years. Yeah, I did play it on my channel, and I tried some of the uh, the challenges as well. I also, uh, that game also made it to mobile, and I was surprised when I played it on mobile. Now to think of it, I wonder if that game is actually on a, is on a console. Wouldn't it be kind of interesting to play that game on console? Eating Frenzy was a little bit harder on console, but it's still very fun on the console as well. Like I played, like I said in the beginning of this video, I played Feeding Frenzy 1 and 2 on, the, um, on console. Got a, a plankton polisher. Uh, leopard sharks are born in liters of as many as 30 pups. Hmm. Hmm. Balloon Bonza. Got a bonus stay. Surface interlude. Um, time for a breath of fresh air before heading out to the deep water caves. More bug catching bonus action, this time with balloons. Ever wonder where balloons go when you let them go? Well, now you know. Now we know, yep. Balloons, watch for balloons dangling uh, bonus goodies. If you catch a speed power up, try getting some big air. Remember, you can flip while you're in the air by clicking the left mouse button. So we gotta try to eat 65 bugs. We, uh, within the two minutes we got, so... Whoa, okay. That's fun. Personal best? Wow. Personal distance. Whoa. I got a new personal thing. Wow, nice. Oh, belly flops, now we're stunned. Commentary isn't a thing on my channel anymore, but I wanted to do commentary for this specifically because uh, this game is very nostalgic to me, and, and I do have a lot of things to say about it, so I just thought I'd throw it in for this game specifically. And this game isn't too long either. 
of the plus. Like, if I had to do, like, a series out of it, I, I think I wouldn't record it. <laughs> you know, if I had to do, like, m uh, multiple different videos that uh, surpassed, like, two or three videos. Like, if I had to do, oh, I don't know, like, five, five videos or more or something, you know, with commentary, that'd be kind of a, a bit for, much for me. But uh, I think we'll beat this game within two videos. Seems like what we'll do. And um, as for the first Feeding Frenzy, I don't know when we can play that, since uh, I don't know if it's ever going to come onto Steam or Origin. Um, like I said, I know it's on console, I played it on console, I bought it on console. Um, I think, actually, uh, that Feeding Frenzy that I bought is actually uh, the 360 version. You can play 360 games on the Xbox One as well, so... Uh, danger drops in. Chomp, chomp, boom. So here's the mines. If you touch them, you explode. Um, is this another shipwreck, blo uh, another shipwreck blocking the way down the hunter's cavern? It must have have just shunk, shunk, as there seems to be a bunch of live mines floating around here. All the more reason to try to track down what's causing all these wrecks. It's getting dangerous for the local sea life. So we got danger mines, avoid mines that fall from the top of the screen. If you bump one of these touchy contraptions, kaboom. Yeah, you, you explode. Stick with it, you're almost a hunter's cavern. So yeah, definitely don't run into those. Cheating frenzy. Double frenzy. Yeah, so don't see how the I like how it kills other fish too. Killed the shark. Yeah, no matter the size, they're still gonna blow up. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. The mushrooms. A real. See, this is where like you're at a point to where that all this stuff is going on, where you have to avoid certain Mega fish and avoid frenzy. things like mines and sharks. Uh, to where you don't want to be dashing around, because it's just, this is really too dangerous. Yeah, I can see, I know it said that, uh, that a dashing could potentially get you out of a tough spot, which is true. Okay, so we didn't die at all. Where, where, where are you? Triple oh, oh. frenzy. Super frenzy. Get a perfect. Well, we did. We missed the one. I know I saw one hit the hit the bottom. Well, how they just all go after him? Like, they're like, huh? Question mark. Follows him. The African pompano is also called the threadfish and the Cuban jack. Hmm. We're making good progress. We're definitely going to be able to beat this game in two videos. So now we're we we're playing as this one. We got an old friend, Fish Upgrade. So we actually play as him in the other game as well. Um, you've Congratulations, you've reached Hunter's ha uh, Cavern. Layla's hunch was right. The shadowy sea creature was headed towards Hunter's Cavern. Now that, now that she tracked him down, it's time to let some local talent take over. These caves are dark and dangerous, but Eddie the Angler will light the way. Uh, stunning jelly. So these are jellyfish that can stun you, and yeah, they don't kill you, but they can very well stun you. And when they stun you, they can make you vulnerable to other fish eating you. Other fish eating you, or, you know, just the sharks. Uh, deep water jellyfish live in these caves. Try not to touch them. If you get too close, their poisonous sting will stun you for a few seconds. Lucky thing is, they will stun predators as well. So they'll stun other fish that uh, come into contact with them as well. Keep an eye out for stunning jellyfish. So I know the um, there are there's levels that are like pitch black and you gotta like you only have a small amount of light as far as I know of. Like I'm pretty sure. Well, so I, I definitely do remember that unless I'm thinking of the first game. Because I get things mixed up with the first game and this game. So 
so I don't know. Oh. Oh gosh. Things the boars have the have the inhale ability. Eating frenzy. Yeah, that's Double what happens frenzy. when you get stunned, obviously. And seeing it. These fish are called, or the, or really the orange ones, to be honest. only shows up if you don't die. So. You manage to beat the level without death. Um, mermaid shows up. Uh, the humphead uh, Razy is also known as the Napoleon Razy. All right. Uh, delving deeper, the quest continues. So far, no sign of the strange creature. Perhaps he's gone even deeper to avoid our pursuit. Things are dark are dark enough here in the place called the Twilight Zone of the Sea. If we proceed any further, we'll be in the tre a treacherous midnight zone, a depth where no sunlight can penetrate. So basically, you'll just only be able to use your, your, your uh, antenna to light the way. Sometimes you can use jellyfish to your advantage if you're if you've got a predator hot on your trail, try to lure him into a jellyfish. Just make sure you don't get caught up in the stun stunning sting too. You fish and get bigger. Yep, that's what we've been doing, so. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. Eating frenzy. Oh, that's cool. Triple Frenzy. Super Frenzy. Mega Frenzy. Yeah, this is just not something I really want to have. You know? like, don't want to really frenzy. have a lot of speed going on, you know? Well, you got a lot of things to like, be cautious of on the screen. Closed, just closed on the power. Mega frenzy. She didn't give this to me. I don't want it. I'm not looking at eaten. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Yep. Top tier frenzy. Super frenzy. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're gonna have to definitely do two videos to probably beat this game. Mega frenzy. Oh. Mega frenzy. I keep forgetting to utilize the dash ability, but like I said, it's just we're at a point to where it's not really that safe to be using it, like I said. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Yeah, I 
It's still so crazy to me. I'm literally playing this game on the PC again because I have not done that in so long. Yeah. Also on Windows 10 because last time I played this game, I played this on a what a Windows 7. The oldest leopard shark on record was a male that reached 24 years of age. Hmm. Now we got the midnight zone. Oh yeah, like the egg yolk things or whatever. Like they kind of just like look like uh, egg yolk. They don't like eggs. <laughs> uh, the midnight zone, the dark, the darkest depths of the ocean. Prepare yourself for a trip into the deepest and darkest realms of the ocean. No sunlight can reach the waters of the midnight zone. Here below 3,000 feet, the water is cold and pitch dark. Eddie will have to use her bioluminescent lure to light the way. Lighting the way. Even with her handy light, Eddie's visibility is limited here in the deep. Eat the glowing plankton to help charge her lure so you can see better in the dark. If you spot a light bulb power up, be sure to grab it. It will give you an even bigger light boost. Grab plankton to illuminate the murky depths. So I totally forgot about these things, actually. But you can see, um, we have very limited light right now, so it just makes this even harder. So the more of those we eat, the more uh, we'll light we get. Double frenzy. Kind of strange and Double doesn't frenzy. make sense, but alright. Yeah, and if you get a light bulb, it instantly uh, lights up the whole screen. Mega frenzy. You may notice uh, this is a map that uh, from basically the real early levels. Sharks, there's literally no clams here, no oysters here. Alright, alright, there you are. Super frenzy. I got 14 pies. We've been doing pretty well for ourselves on these last few levels. I haven't died, or, you know. Hungry Hunter. The earliest pearl farmers were Chinese. In the 5th century, some placed tiny images of Buddha inside mollusks to protect. Uh, produce pearled uh, statuettes. Hmm. Interesting. Midnight snack. Bonus stage. This detective bonus is hungry work. Oh, oh detective business. Sorry. There's hungry work. Uh, time to take a break and recharge with a brand new bonus stage. A school of unsuspecting Minnows has wandered into these dark waters, and they'll make a perfect midnight snack. Try to chop all the fish before the timer runs out. Um, use the glowing plankton to help you track down minnows in the darkness. There are a limited number of these glowing goodies, so don't be too greedy. If you use them all up at once, it'll be hard to track down your prey. 33 and 7 plankton. All right. They're actually more bigger than normal, I feel like. I definitely made them bigger for the sake of this, uh, time, this uh, timed level. Wow, this is actually pretty easy. Super frenzy. I've literally almost done it already. Jeez. That was super easy. Wow. I guess they anticipated that being more difficult because of the, it being, you know, the limited light, but, you know. Now you can collect the plankton. So we got a deep sea discovery, catching up with danger. Um, after that tasty snack, it's time to get back to business. Even uh, el elusive sea creatures have to eat, so let's pay a visit to one of the few feeding spots here in, in the midnight zone. The deep sea vent warms up uh, the water around here, making it a popular spot for predators and their prey. Perhaps our uh, quarry uh, made a stop here for some food. Watch yourself and try to keep the lights on. All right. 
intense music going on here. Eating frenzy. Stunned by the jellyfish. Oh, frenzy. Okay. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Oh, my nutrition. Yeah. That is the thing with the inhale ability, is you can absolutely do that and then get eaten. Mega frenzy. Why we have this intense music? There's really not anything super dangerous here. I, mean, I haven't even gotten eaten once. Mega frenzy. I think the music is a bit much for the stage. It's super frenzy. Pretty easy, really. Mega frenzy. Oh, what do you know? Now Eddie's gonna follow that. <laughs> creature. It's just funny how they just, the way that we transition into a new fish is just because the old one just gets, you know, gets curious and follows that, um, that a boss fish that we'll have to fish later. Uh, many bright, uh, brightly colored uh, reef fish have poisonous skin, flesh, or eggs. The poison comes from the toxic algae that is their main food source. Alright. Uh, uh, Buccaneer Bay. Uh, we got a new, another fish now. Uh, the, mystery, uh, the mystery continues as Eddie only caught a brief glimpse of the uh, particular uh, predator. He was heading toward uh, Buccaneer, Buccaneer Bay, where the waters are too shallow for a deep sea dweller like Eddie. It's time to pass the torch on to a new hero, Peter the Pompano. Hmm. Welcome, Peter. Peter is more familiar with the previous waters of Buccaneer Bay, a graveyard of pirate ships that some say is still haunted. Look out for some strange new creatures in this region. Rumor has it that some squid-like uh, cuttlefish have taken up residence in these eerie waters. Uh, so I remember we have to eat these guys at first, but they also can like, ink you when they like open up. So you have to like be careful. Watch out for the new strange creatures. So yeah, you can, as you can see, we can eat them right now, as well as these other small fish. They're almost literally just as big as we are, though. So, uh, yeah, you gotta be careful, they can ink you. Yeah, you can't eat them. Oh, see? Eating okay. frenzy. Double frenzy. Super frenzy. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. Ah. Oh, we got the shark. Super frenzy. Super frenzy. Oh, I thought I got to eat it for a second for some reason. Oh god. Hey, come back here. Oh, he got inked, and he's like, I've had it. I've had it. Super yes. frenzy. Come on, he's supposed to stick around. Let me bite his tail. Uh, Keep frenzy. getting inked. Unfortunately. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. 
Lindsay. Nice, we're we really wrapped up the lives. I got 17 lives going right now, so and a Barracuda bonus as well. To allow it to expand, the stomach of a puffer fish is uh, pleated like a Scottish kilt. Hmm. Uh, creepy creatures. What are those things? Those creepy looking creatures are, are cuttlefish. They aren't very big, but they sure are uh, skittish. Or should I say squiddish. Cuttlefi cuddle cuttlefish, yeah, uh, have a squid-like defense mechanism to fend off approaching predators. Uh, mind the ink. A cuttlefish spots a large fish approaching it, it will dash off, leaving behind a trail of uh, blinding ink. If you get caught in the ink cloud, you'll be blinded and uh, disoriented for a few seconds. The effects will wear off, but being blinded in these dangerous waters can be deadly. Try to sneak up on a cuttlefish from behind and avoid their ink. So it's kind of weird it's telling, that, telling us about these cuttlefish on the next level, as we've literally already encountered them on the previous level. So that just now is kind of telling us about it, but uh... Yeah, so... So they say it's ideal to sneak up from behind them. Oh, we got the mines, which should warn us about that. But, they're here. Oh my god, I, I almost ran into it. If that fish didn't have run into it, I would have thrown up. Triple frenzy. I just find it actually kind of funny in this game how the catastrophes can not only affect me, but affect all the other uh, creatures around me as well, so... I mean, that's kind of cool. Because, you know, in a lot of games as you play, uh, a lot of the catastrophes only affect you and not things around you. That's cool that it's like this in this game. Frenzy. We got an eaten once by one of those lionfish. Ah. Double frenzy. Yeah, come on, get over here. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. Super frenzy. Super frenzy. Super frenzy. Super frenzy. I got the barracuda shark up there. Super frenzy. Yep. Oh. Okay, we're gonna be careful. Oh. It also frenzy. literally pulled the mines towards you. Well. Boom. The shark got blown up, so. Jeez. Triple frenzy. Didn't go well, did it? A shark Double frenzy. frenzy. Eat him. You have to get Double blown frenzy. up by a mine. So. Super frenzy. Where would he go? Did he get blown up? Yes, he did. Or he got aimed to and just uh, swam away. Ah. Must be getting inked and then swimming off, or he's getting blown up by the mines. Eating frenzy. Ah. Oh my gosh! Jeez. So I believe he had two deaths on that stage. Two or three deaths. Coral cod is usually found in caves and under ledges. Okay. So we're about halfway through the game already. So we got uh, first, first fury. So if you eat this power up, I believe it uh, makes your your uh, fish dash around the screen, eating the, uh, the the fish that you're capable of eating. Tired of avoiding all those predators to reach your uh, pint sized prey? Try grabbing a feeding fury power up. Eat one of these, and you'll go on a feeding rampage, zipping around the screen, eating everything in sight, as long as it's smaller than you. Tastes great and saves you time. Uh, furious tip. Take care when you gobble one of these up after you 
after your frenzied feast, you'll end up right where you started. If you eat one too close to a predator, your victory lap might be cut short. Take the fury power up for a test drive. Okay. Ah. I keep getting ganked all the time. It happens constantly. It's not that big of a deal, really, to be honest. Super frenzy. Super frenzy. Mega yeah, that's frenzy. very useful, that's for sure. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Cruise through these levels pretty well as well. Obviously, having a lot of experience with uh, previously playing this game many times in the past. Wow, we got another Barracuda bonus. Um, Humphead Ra uh, Razy uh, have a slow breeding rate and long lifespan because the population replenishes itself so slowly. Fishing uh, possesses a great threat and the species is currently endangered. Makes sense. Uh, bonus, bonus, boom. A change of scenery. On the backstage of the pirate island, pirate island, there seem to be fewer sunken ships. Human treasure hunters have been through here, and it looks like they have left behind some nasty mines to ward off their competition. The school of, of minnows is lost in this maze of mines, and that means it's time for some bonus stage action. Stunning discovery, stun bubble, power-ups give you a break from the constant uh, dance of predator and prey. Grab one to stun all fish around you for a few seconds. As an added bonus, stun bubbles will explode nearby mines. Alright, cool. Try to catch se uh, 70 minnows before the time runs out. Eating Triple frenzy. Bad timing for the end. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. For the uh, uh, inhale ability. Mega frenzy. Yeah. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Alright, we should be able to do this. Just kill they all exploded when I beat it. Nice. Hungry Hunter, still got the same rank. Toxic Trouble, watch what you eat. Oh yeah, so these, if you eat these guys, I think they stun you. Um, and you, They stun you for a bit and eventually like you spit them out. So yeah, you end up actually spitting these guys out. They stun you and... Uh, you end up spitting them out, and I believe you can like re-eat them again after you spit them out. <sighs> Trouble in paradise, it looks like all these mines and sunken ships are starting to pollute the ecosystem. Some of these poor minnows seem to be affected by an illness that turns their scales a nasty shade of green. Yuck. One thing's for sure, they definitely don't look appetizing. Poison minnows. If you eat a poison minnow, you'll become poisoned yourself. While poisoned, your controls are totally reversed. Tap your mouse button quickly to speed up the process of coughing up. Oh, so it, in, it like um, reverses your control. I thought it like stuns you. Hmm. But I guess hmm. I, I I definitely knew it, it. It did something to you, and you end up spitting it out. That I remember. Um. But yeah. Um. 
Tap your mouse button quickly to speed up the process of coughing up, coughing up the offending fish. Once you do, things will be back to normal. Don't eat the grain fish. Okay. And we ate one. You gotta left click uh, fast so you can uh, cough them up quicker, spit them out. We're gonna eat a lot of those Double green frenzy. fish because, uh. Yep. Come on, come on. Uh -huh. I think it's just hilarious how we can troll him and just until he shrinks. Literally is what we do. Yeah. I got eaten by that barracuda because of the damn poison fish. Here's our second chance now. He doesn't freaking swim away, which he did, so. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Ah, oh, come on. Man, we ate more than one of them. Damn, I spit out three at once. Damn. A lot of poison. Damn it. I'm really starting to hate those poisonous fish. For some reason I didn't get eaten there. I guess there was a invincibility time frame or something. Eating frenzy. I don't know. These green fish are very damn annoying. Eating frenzy. They're definitely getting me killed. Double frenzy. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. <laughs> I don't want to get a Barracuda bonus. Well, somehow the oyster killed the shark. I don't know if that makes any sense. How does an oyster do that? Ah, uh, well. Yeah, we weren't able to uh, troll the uh, Barracuda and to up to eating it, but yeah, because we kept eating the poison fish and we kept getting eaten by the barracuda. Uh, can live humphead Razy can live to be more than 30 years old. Okay, we got cod cruncher now. All right, so we're about halfway through the game and we're about an hour in, so yeah, this game's like three four hours definitely, or maybe two. Two, uh, two and two hours and a half, maybe. Wrath of Cod, deeper mysteries. Following the trail of green fish and debris, Peter comes across another shipwreck. Humans can't be that clumsy. There has to be something that ties together all this destruction. Could it have something to do with the strange sea creatures we've been tra uh, tailing? Uh, toxic tips. It's easier to make mistakes while your fish is poisoned. When you swallow a poisoned minnow, don't panic. Try to avoid moving around too much and tap the left mouse button to shake off your fish as quickly as possible. Get chomping. Get chomping. Right. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. So we got the, uh, the tiger sharks are back. We're not tiger Eating sharks, they're the leopard sharks. Eating frenzy. Call them tiger sharks. Eating frenzy. Oh. Uh. Eating 
frenzy. Oh, yep, I got him. <laughs> Eating frenzy. Why didn't that work? It's odd, it didn't work. It must have something to do with the poison fish that I ate. Extra life. Must be due to a score thing. Well, that was lucky. Poison in the process, what do you mean? Ah, oh, so close, dude. Eating frenzy. Oh, that's the first time I got killed by an oyster, too. Eating frenzy, double frenzy. Triple frenzy. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. Super frenzy. No, no. Mega frenzy. Alright. Now we're in good shape. Mega frenzy. Yeah. Still have a really decent amount of lives going on. 15 is quite a bit. Black pearls range from gray to black. Some may also contain shades of blue, green, yellow, pink, or purple. Alright. Kind of cool. A Barracuda battle. We got a bonus stage. Um, battle, uh, bonus battle in this corner, Peter the Pompano, our fearless and hungry hero. In the other corner, three angry barracuda, the fish with glass tails. Nibble a, a barracuda tail four times in a row to get him to shrink down to an edible size. Try to eat three barracuda before the timer runs out. Bite blockers. Look for shield fish power-ups to help you through a, a tough stage. Eat one of these and you'll get a sparky guardian fish escort. When predators get close, he'll go after the escort instead of you. Eat three bar three barracuda in two minutes. So I forgot about the uh, the bite blockers. Yeah, there's the fish that uh, they they, they uh, swarm around you and uh, protect you from getting eaten. Chum. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Obviously, if we get eaten, it's a game over. So we're gonna do this three times without getting eaten. Oh, oh alright, so now we're safe. We got a, a fish shield, eye blocker. Nice, we got one more to go. We're gonna do this, definitely. Gonna bite it four times. There we go. Like how the, uh, the fish, uh, your fish guardian just swims away when you beat the stage. I'm very really loyal, is he? A loony lures, goofy goodness. Uh, the flurry of activity. Yeah, the flurry of activity around the shipwreck can only mean one thing. Our, myst our mystery menace must be near. He seems to be on a trajectory towards the Razy Reef. Maybe we can track him down before he gets there. Uh, shiny distractions. Uh, sometimes all you need, all you need to distract a vicious predator is something shiny. That's where the Looney Lure power-up comes in. Chomp one of these and you'll summon a decoy. Oh yeah, I remember this. That fish that lures all your predators away. I remember that now. Chomp one of these and you'll summon a decoy so alluring your predators won't be able to resist following it. Um, with all the big fish lured away, you'll have a few seconds of stress-free feeding. Stress-free feeding? Sign me up. Yeah. 
the intense music. <laughs> More of these poison fish, oh god. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. Yeah. Triple frenzy. Ah. I was very close to getting Triple right frenzy. there. Super frenzy. Mega so we're probably gonna go um, two hours with this with this Mega gameplay frenzy. and then call it quits and we'll do a part two. I can definitely feel myself just getting exhausted with recording. Not um, easy to commentate for this long. Either. Mega frenzy. To uh, you know, record and commentate for this long. Mega frenzy. Even you know, mental health is not that great. It's just hard to record for long periods of time, especially with the commentary. I mean, it's definitely easier when you don't have it, but. Uh, Super frenzy. And when I do have it, it's just, it's more of a pain on me, for sure. So, uh, we'll try to go two hours with this gameplay, and then we'll film a part two, and uh, that, um, we should be able to beat it then. I just really wanted to have the commentary, though, because, like, this game is just so nostalgic, and I want to, com you know, commentate on something that, um, is very nostalgic to me. Poison fish. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's literally the same thing for every fish. You're just like, oh, it's question mark, and then they go after that predator. Basically, gonna be our final boss. I think we might we might face him more than once. Uh, the queen tigerfish gets its name from its ability to lock its dorsal fin uh, spine into an upright position, as it mean as it as a means of defense. Sorry, uh, the fin cannot be flattened by force, but a slight push on its shorter trigger spine causes it to collapse. Alright. Reezy reef fish upgrade time for another hero to take over as our mystery creature leads us to the Razy reef uh, the marlin and sharks in these wa and um, the marlin and sharks in these waters can be pretty mean and Harry the humphead Razy is perfect for the job Harry is a native of these parts and more importantly he's bigger than our buddy Peter so yeah um, I believe he's in the first feeding frenzy as well he plays him uh, balloons are back. Balloons make the return. Remember, you can click the left mouse button near the surface of the water to jump into the air. There are some pretty nice goodies floating by if you can catch them. Jump, jump for the balloons. What also is a pain, too, is there's a lot of reading in this game. Like, I know I don't have to read it, but I think I just kind of want to, I guess. I don't know. Just, it's just something that I, pr I feel like I probably should do because it's in front of me. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's really been a pain. My voice is starting to hurt. Oh, yeah, we already got eaten by the swordfish. Damn it. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. Double frenzy. Triple frenzy. I might block her, but it just, uh... Okay. Oh, man. I hate how he's right at the... The surface, that's real pain. Making it hard on this one. Feeding frenzy. Double frenzy. We got one of our lives back. Not something. Yeah, I know on these stages it's definitely better to try to eat the bugs than more so the fish. 
but um, we kind of got that swordfish at the top there. You know, it's kind of it's going deeper down. Seems like Boris is the only one that didn't have the uh, nail ability. Because they just decided to introduce him later. For some reason. Super Frenzy. Mega Frenzy. Mega Frenzy. Nope. Mega Frenzy. Got a lot of swordfish turning up here. Jeez, there's three of them in here. Mega frenzy. Jeez. We're getting Mega close to being able to beat those guys. All well, the reskins they did, it's quite interesting. <laughs> it looks cool. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. I always like to eat the bugs regardless of my size. Mega frenzy. So yeah, we got eaten, I believe, twice. Crunch. Alright, we got uh, Cod Cruncher as well. Puffer fish are greedy. Supposedly, if a lot of fish a lot of fish food is available, a puffer fish will eat until it seems nearly stunned. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we got the, the seagulls now. Hmm. As if all these big fish weren't enough to worry about, and now a flock of pelicans have take, uh, taken notice of all the activity in the reef, and they've decided to drop in for a bite. Winged Terror. Watch where you jump. Pelicans can gobble you up mid-air. If you aren't careful, some have even been known to swoop down to swoop Swoop up fish near the surface of the sea. Keep an eye out for this new feathery menace. So these these are the uh, are what I was talking about earlier. Um, yeah, you got to be careful of these guys. They will eat you. You make contact with them. I'm calling them seagulls, but they're calling them pelicans. Oh, eating frenzy now. Eating frenzy. Yeah, it's just a lot better to actually eat the bugs rather than try to swim. Down to the fish. Frenzy. But it is a problem when the bigger fish actually like you can kind of go more to, uh, towards the surface. Super frenzy. So it can be a problem. And of course you got the pelicans to worry about. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. So I Mega Frenzy. I think it's it's kind of strange because I don't know of any fish that like to eat bugs. Could be wrong, but I don't know of any fish that like to eat bugs. I think it's just kind of a made-up thing in this game. I think. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. I mean, it could be wrong. I'm no fish expert. Frenzy. I really gobbled up all the all the pucks. Cake, aka the butterflies. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. And I don't think it matters what what size you are. The pelicans can still eat you. No matter your size, you Mega always frenzy. have to avoid them. No matter how big you are, they can still be you. Mega frenzy. I think the blockfish. Mega frenzy. We got the swordfish that's literally towards the surface. Jeez. 
Like um top tier size, you know, care was really for the most part. But the only thing that's danger to me right now is the uh, the pelicans and the shin and the leopard sharks. I didn't die at all. Super so we got 21 lives. I like, might not be able to see it because of my webcam. Mega and multiplier of five, but my webcam might very well be blocking that. But uh, yeah. So we're, like I said, we're about halfway through this game. We're making progress with it. Not a very long game. I believe this game's longer though than the first Feeding Frenzy, obviously. But yeah. So it's kind of weird how it randomly throws in uh, the same fun facts from before on just uh, other levels. So we got Jellyfish Jig. Who invited them to the party? The warm current has washed a smack, a smack of jellyfish into the reef. With all the pelicans, sharks, and jellies around, everybody seems to be hanging out in the reef except for our mysterious monster. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should set course toward the open waters of Sharktooth Ridge. Uh, style from speed. Try this if you're feeling daring. Grab a speed boost before you jump out of the water. You can get a huge air and pack in a lot of flips for sweet style points. So we've already been doing that. Style points are great, but watch out for those pelicans. Yeah, obviously. I think there might be around, like, what is it, 60 levels in this game? Oh. oh. So, yeah, we're definitely halfway through here. You can actually inhale those uh, bugs. Eating frenzy. You're close enough, that is. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. Then we eat the swordfish. So. An extra life. <laughs> they inhaled it. Whoa. I inhaled it. Double lot. frenzy. Jesus. Whoa. Whoa, okay. We've never done that before. That is new. Jellyfish around here. Triple frenzy. Yeah, we're we a lot of these shield blocks, fish blocks. We can kind of be careless here when we have a uh, fish shields.
don't know what those, uh, those bugs are. These are like, what, dragonflies? Something? Butterfly fish usually travel alone or in pairs. They have a very limited range and do not stay far from their homes. Huh. Butterfly fish. Is it these guys? Are those the butterfly? I can't remember. Uh, minnows and may mayflies. Um, on our way, on our way out to deeper waters, we find this tempting mass of munchies. Uh, there's a huge school of quick-moving minnows and a swarm of mayflies here for our bonus chomping pleasure. Only catch here is you're not alone. Try to eat all the minnows and may mayflies uh, before the time runs out. Um, watch out, because a pack of leopard sharks have been tracking the school and they look hungry. Eat 100 minnows and 25 mayfish. Two minutes. Alright. Frenzy. Double Frenzy. Double Frenzy. Double Frenzy. Oh, there's multiple on the screen. And of course we got the pelicans. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Yep. This is actually pretty easy. I have too many more to go now. Too soon here. Yeah, I think we can do this, I think, anyway. Flounder Pounder. Hmm. Pesky Puffers. So oh, now we got the puffer fish, which you cannot eat them when they're inflated. But uh Yeah. You can you can eat them when they're normal, but not when they're inflated. Um I know you uh if you try to eat them when they're inflated, you kinda just it makes like a bounce, like some kind of boing sound effect or something when you bump into them. They may look innocent, but don't be fooled by these cute little puffer fish. These little guys will inhale like balloons to protect themselves from predators of all sizes. That's quite a defense mechanism. Uh, prickly puffers. Don't try to eat an inflated puffer fish no matter how big you are. If you do, you'll bounce right off and lose some points. I didn't know you actually lose points from doing that. I know you, I knew you bounced off, but I know you lose points too. Uh, you can only eat them while they're deflated, so try to be patient. Be careful not to bounce into the other predators. Alright. Ducks fire each time. Okay. Eating frenzy. Mm -hmm. It's like a, I don't know what kind of fish that is. Yeah, it can kind of bounce you into other predators that are close by. Double frenzy. Probably good to sneak up on them as well. Triple frenzy. Really quick, really. I don't Super know if the sneaking frenzy. up actually works on the puffer fish. It did work for the uh, cuttlefish. This game is telling us to do that. Super frenzy. Super frenzy. 
just lured him away and now he's in back. Mega frenzy. Yep. What is that gonna lure away exactly? Oh, the shark, obviously. And the shark's right back here. Oh, did that with us. Super Frenzy. Wow. 25 lives. Don't know if I've ever had that many in feeding Frenzy again. To be quite honest. Butterfly fish usually mate for life, and the male and female uh, raise their young together. If one butterfly fish dies, its mate may die as well. Kind of sad. Trouble with tuna. I thought these were tuna fish. Those puffers don't seem to have uh, deteriorated, uh, deteriorated the other predators in the region. Uh, we seem to be suffering from a problem here. Too many predators and not enough food. Remember the right button. There's a lot of c competition for food out there. Don't forget to take advantage of your special inhale ability to scoop up schools of fish. Use the right mouse button to activate it and gain the upper hand of these greedy locals. Uh, no such thing as free lunch. Literally the same level as the last two. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. School just make it easier, really. So it's really just an easier Mega version of the last frenzy. level. Uh, I don't really know why they, uh, they have the intense music going on here. Oh. Ah, that hail ability can, like... Sometimes it really just... It's really powerful. Eating Jeez. Wow, twice by, by a tumor. Eating Frenzy. Frenzy. I'm use a, a score of seven. I got eaten twice, apparently, and there's, I think there's more of these tuna fish around. I got eaten three times by them now. Eating frenzy. I may have spoken too soon about this being really easier than the last. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, except with schools. But there might be more things lurking. I've gotten eaten like three times by it. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. shark as well. Ah, too late. Two of the leopard shark. Mega frenzy. See that coming, jeez. Oh. Wow, we're getting eaten a lot in this level, aren't we? Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. You know, leopard sharks were in the last day. I don't think they were. Especially at the barracudas, these were not there. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to bother with that, I don't think. Triple frenzy. Super frenzy. I've died enough on this one. Super frenzy. Lives. And 
flounder pounder. Although Australia has a reputation as great as a great place to see great white sharks, they are actually uncommon there, and their numbers in Australia on Australian waters are on the decline. Hmm. So I'll probably do. I know I want to go up to two hours, and maybe we'll do this level and one more, possibly a third level, but we'll see. So I'll we'll have to film a part two and finish the game then. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this game. Still, like I said before, um, really holds up even in, in this point in time. It's a very nostalgic game. So we got a bouncy bonus, another bonus stage. Now that uh, those pesky uh, puffer fish have invaded our friendly bonus stage, Harry's got plenty of herrings to chase down here, but these puffers are going to have to go too. Try to clear out all the fish in the stage before the timer runs out. Uh, puffer fish can, can't can inflate when they're stunned. Save yourself some time and frustration. Grab a stun bubble and gobble up all those puffer fish before the effect wears off. 50 and 25 puffer fish. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of annoying. I'm gonna lie. Eating frenzy. Okay, where's the double frenzy? Really as many as these guys in the can. Triple frenzy. Puffer fish are honestly really annoying. Super frenzy. Mega frenzy. Even a couple, but you know. mega frenzy. Mega Frenzy. Gosh, they're all inflating. Mega Frenzy. Okay. I think we're gonna do this here. Mega Frenzy. A lot of these, uh, these, uh, time stages, they give you plenty of time to do it, really. So, you know, likelihood of you actually, um, failing is pretty low. So I think we've only failed at like one of them. We ran out of time at one of them, so this might be the last one we do for the video. Um, so we got Cavern, Carnage, a dangerous border. Uh, after that tasty bonus, we reach the caves on the border of Shark Tooth Ridge. Dangerous leopard sharks sometimes patrol this area in search of easy prey. If our shady quarry has made it this far, then it's uh, daring indeed. The open waters of Chartreuse Ridge are too treacherous for even the heroic Harry to brave. Take it, yep, the cuttlefish are back. Oh, my voice is really starting to hurt. Almost talking. Is the thing too, it's just so frenzy. Literally hours of commentary. It really hurts my voice Triple too. Frenzy. Super frenzy. Oh god. Okay. Mega nice. frenzy. All right. Mega frenzy. I don't think I don't think we've seen the oysters in a while now that I think about Mega it. Frenzy. I don't recall picking up pearls uh, in a while. Mega frenzy. Oh god. We were so close to. Oh, look at this. Eating frenzy. Guess what? Double frenzy. Triple frenzy. Yeah, this uh, this game definitely has very cool maps, backgrounds, but they definitely do reuse them. They, you know, they Super have a couple frenzy. that just keep getting reused, basically. Frenzy. Oh, almost gonna have to eaten by the leopard shark. Too dangerous for them. Who are these leopard sharks showing up? Mega frenzy. And then it talked about how there are a lot of the sharks. And he's gonna fall on too.
Why so many fish need to follow one predator? I don't know. While well, most other fish are cold-blooded, great white sharks use a heat exchange system in their blood vessels to keep their body tem temperature warmer than that of the surrounding water. So now we're literally playing as a shark, which sharks are the only ones that can eat other sharks. So that's kind of cool. This will be the last level we do, and we're going to get a whole new uh, background for this. <laughs> we got Shark Tooth Ridge, fish upgrade, Meet Goliath. Time to pull out uh, the big fish. Meet Goliath, the great white shark. He's not the biggest shark in the ridge, but with your help, he will be. If anyone can catch up to that beastie shadow in the open waters, it's him. Human hideout. Shark right, uh, Sharktooth Ridge is home to some some sort of undersea human lab. None of the sea life bothers much with what's going, going on at the lab. The ocean is big enough for both man and fish kind. Take Goliath out for a test drive. Alright. So as you can see, eventually we can eat uh, the leopard sharks and the, and the whales. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can eat the, uh, the barracudas too if they show up. When you can eat the leopard. Okay. Eating frenzy. These guys are awfully frenzy. small compared to us. It's normally not the case. They are usually pretty big. Basically unstoppable in these waters right now. Super frenzy. Nothing Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. Didn't die at all. So I mean, it's cool they introduced a shark, and now it's just really easier. So like, being a shark is literally allowing you to eat other sharks. Which, you know, as a Super fish, you can just can't. Mega frenzy. Alright guys, well I think this is the uh... The Great White Shark is an apex predator, which means it is at the top of its food chain and has no natural enemies. It is the only apex predator that has ever been tamed by man. Alright guys, well I think this is going to do it for the first uh, gameplay episode of Feeding Frenzy 2 Shipwreck Showdown. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and we'll definitely finish this game in the next gameplay. And uh, yeah, so it's very cool revisiting this game. I've really had a lot of fun so far and we're going to finish it off in the next video. And yeah. <laughs>